Hey everyone, welcome back to another review. So before we jump into this, I just want to say thank you to everyone that supports this channel. The channel recently just passed the 1,000 subscriber milestone, and it couldn't have gotten there without all the support from all of you. So thank you again for supporting this channel over the last year. I really appreciate it. So with that out of the way, let's just jump into this review. So for today's review, we're going to take a look at one of Safari LTD's older figures. It's their beautiful and bizarre Nigosaurus. This fantastic looking figure came out in 2008, but unfortunately in 2018, Safari decided to retire this absolutely stunning looking figure. You know, back in 2008, the Carnegie collection was in full force and, you know, the Safari LTD figures really didn't, you know, live up to the detail that they were putting into the Carnegie collection. But then this little Nigosaurus came out and I, at that time, I thought it looked better than most of the figures available in the Carnegie collection at that time. It's a real shame that Safari decided to retire this little figure. I think it is one of their nicest looking sauropods in their entire line. And there's only one other company that has a Nigosaurus figure. That is Collecte, but the less said about that figure, the better. So a couple quick facts about Nigosaurus. It was a mid-Cretaceous sauropod that lived about 115 to 105 million years ago. It lived in Africa. Its fossils were discovered in the province of Niger. Actually, the first fossils were described in 1976, but this dinosaur was not named until 1999. So let's do a couple quick measurements on this figure. This figure is about 8 inches long from the tip of the snout to that bend in the tail. If you actually extend the tail, this figure is about 10 inches long, and it is just over 3.5 inches tall to the top of the hips as I almost knock my light over. So Nigosaurus was a mid-sized sauropod. About 30 feet long, so with that 10 inch measurement, that put this figure somewhere in the 136 scale range. The coloration on this Nigosaurus figure is very natural looking. You have different shades of dark and light green all over the body. And then you have almost this like rusty orange color done over the hind legs and along the length of the tail sides of the body and along the neck. And then you just have some brown coloration that starts on the head that continues all the way down this row of spikes along the back of the neck down to almost the end of the tail and then turn the figure over. You can see it has a nice cream colored underside starting from underneath the jaw going all the way down to the tip of the tail with more of that rust color wash over it to bring out all those nice little details. And then on the hind legs right here you have some dark brown like muddy coloration. It looks like this animal was trudging through some mud as it was wandering around foraging for food. So let's zoom in and take a look at the head on this figure. Nigosaurus had a very bizarre looking skull, especially when you compare it to other sauropod dinosaurs. And when you look at it from the front right here, you can see the skull is wider than the length of it. And in the front right here, it was filled with up to 500 of these very small peg-like teeth. And those teeth were shed and replaced at a very fast rate. I think it took up to just about 14 days for this animal to completely shed and replace those teeth. There's a little shrink wrapping on the skull. You can see the eye is painted in black right here. And I actually stumbled across an image in one of my sauropod books. I think it was uh, Sauropod Dinosaurs in the Life of Giants. And they show this neat little picture of Nigosaurus that the way its eyes were situated on the skull, it had almost 360 degree vision, which is a Great adaptation to have, especially if you are on the lookout for predators. So that is definitely something cool that, you know, I discovered while reading about sauropods. And also, Paul Serino said that the head of this animal kind of reminded him of Darth Vader and a vacuum cleaner. So, yeah, uh, whatever you say, Paul. And moving down to the neck, you can see the neck of Nigosaurus is very short, especially when you compare it to other sauropods which has led paleontologists to think that this animal was primarily a low browser. You can see a lot of nice folds and wrinkles sculpted in there, and actually some scales are sculpted in along the top of the neck, going all the way down the back. And now coming down to the legs, you can see some nice muscle definition is sculpted in there. The toes, this is an older figure, so I'll forgive it, shouldn't be painted in, only this innermost toe claw should be exposed on the feet and you can see those feet are painted in like a muddy brown color like this animal was wading through a very shallow swamp and then along the side of the animal you can see a little bit more shrink wrap you could kind of see the ribs showing through the skin right here but other than that there's a lot of nice 
scale detail on this figure and muscle definition. Definitely, you know, for an 11-year-old figure, this figure is still beautifully sculpted. It holds up well compared to most of the other figures in Safari's collection. You can see the shoulder blade right here and the hip bones are nicely sculpted. And flipping it over, you can see a lot of nice folds and wrinkles along the stomach. And it does have a cloaca slit. If you kind of look closely, it's not painted in black like some of the later Safari figures have been. And then going down to the hind legs right here, you can see those back toe claws are painted in. And then going down to the tail, you can see, sorry, my lighting is just all over the place today. A lot of nice folds and wrinkles coming around to that little whip-like end. So yeah, this is definitely, definitely one of my favorite sauropod figures ever produced by Safari. Really, really love this thing. All right, let's move on with some comparisons. Here it is with some other sauropod figures. This is the Safari LTD Shinosaurus, and in the back right here is the Safari Apatosaurus. These figures aren't in scale with each other, but it definitely shows off the variety among the sauropod species. And here it is with another Safari figure. This is their 2017 Diplodocus. And like I said, this is an 11-year-old figure, and it holds up so well, especially when you compare it to some of the newer Safari figures. Let me just get this guy off to the side. And here it is with another Safari Sauropod. This is their 2019 Camarasaurus. And here it is with one of the Carnegie Collection figures. This is their Brachiosaurus. And here it is with another Carnegie Collection figure. This is the absolutely massive Carnegie Collection Diplodocus. And these two figures actually kind of scale with each other. It just shows you how long the Plodocus is, especially compared to some of these smaller sauropods. And here it is with the Eofauna Atlasaurus, another bizarre looking sauropod. And these two figures do kind of scale with each other. This one's roughly in the 136 scale range, and this one's kind of somewhere in that 135, 140 scale range. So these two figures do look really nice next to each other. So final thoughts on this Nigosaurus figure. I think this is still one of the best sauropod figures Safari has ever put out. It's such a nice looking figure. It has some incredible detail. And like I keep saying, for an 11 year old figure, it still holds up really well even today. Unfortunately, this figure was retired in 2018, but it's still relatively easy to find. You can still find it in retailers that carry Safari LTD figures. And even searching online, you can still find places that, that do carry it. I actually saw this figure uh, still on sale on Happy Hen. I'll leave a link in the description for $5.99. So if you don't have this figure yet, definitely snatch it up while you can. I don't know how much longer these will be in circulation. And we all know once these figures are officially out of circulation, the prices do go up on them. And I'll also leave a link in Amazon for this figure too. I see it roughly for that $9.99 to 15 bucks, which I still think it is worth it. I think this figure originally retailed for about $10. But yeah, I definitely... Definitely do like this Nigosaurus figure. And I like doing going back and looking at older figures because, you know, every day there are new people getting into collecting dinosaur figures. So this is a good way for people to discover figures that they didn't even know existed. So that will pretty much do it for the review. I do have some of the Safari 2020 figures coming in next week. I got the Deinonychus, Edmontosaurus, and Pachycephalosaurus coming in. So look for reviews for those once those come in. And as always, if you're liking the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously, and it's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.